Jamal, can you tell us opportunity that exists for the private sector, which Paul has mentioned, to work with the bank on improving the business environment for agribusiness transactions in Africa? So, Jamal, many thanks for the opportunity to be on this panel. I think Paul put it nicely. First of all, agribusiness agri is a business. It's a business. Yeah. If you look in 2010, it generated around $313 billion in sub-Saharan Africa. Our projection show the next 30 years, you can go to around $1 trillion. So it is a business. And we're looking at its important role in terms of fighting against poverty, economic transformation, job creation, provision of human market. We have not looked at agriculture as we look at other sectors in the continent. And I, I, I'm glad the way, Paul, you put it, because you're absolutely right. Many donors, including the World Bank, 10 years ago, basically, walked away from developing the agriculture sector. And this was a big mistake. Agriculture sector is like the energy sector. These are two transformational subsectors that could change the face of Africa. These are the two sectors, frankly. If you look right now in terms of what can be transforming them. If you look in terms of the focus right now, if we cannot do it, do it without linking the agricultural production with the agribusiness agri agri and really talking from the small and medium to the large enterprise. It's not only about small holders. It's also about medium enterprise. So you look at challenges where we talk about developing downstream, this is all the processing, upstream, all the input agriculture activities, the commercial agriculture, which has to be much more aggressive, We've seen it in countries like Ghana. We've seen some corridors start being developed in Ethiopia, as well as in Tanzania. We need to see more of this. And also support and link small holder and small enterprise to productive former value chains. And the role of the private sector is essential. As I said, first of all, Mr. Chairman, you said it yourself, this sector represents around 24% of GDP on average. But in some countries like Mali, it's 50% of the GDP is agriculture related. There are some other countries around 40%. So 24% is, is a good average. When I look at the private sector here, the private sector has been coming, and we've seen it in the last 10 years, a complete change of the profile, and coming at all levels. That's the good news, I, I feel. Now, what are the area where I think, th coming to the question where we need to do much more? Irrigation. The total irrigated land in the sub-Saharan Africa is 5% of this, which is equivalent to Mexico, the whole continent. We have not been irrigated the land. So we have to be much more aggressive. I'm not talking about large irrigation schemes. I'm talking about also medium one. And that's where what kind of PPP schemes we can imagine. And that's where experience from South-South is important. What Brazil has done is fascinating to see how they develop PPP schemes for agriculture. We have not been able yet to do it in the continent. So we have to think much more about PPP to on term of storage, cold chain, logistical terminal, wholesale market. That's what I'm talking about. These are things that could be interested. But uh, to do that, you need upfront investment. It could be done also by the government, together with the private sector. Then comes the question is how you finance this agribusiness. And that's one of the biggest challenges that we have seen in the, con in the continent. And we have to look at different uh, project finance where it will interlink the value chain together with the output that we're going to produce. And that's where the risk mitigation systems have to be in place. And we haven't done enough work, in my opinion, in the continent on looking at the risk issue. And we look at, and that's where probably we have to think much more instrument. And we need the private sector. And the World Bank would like to work with the private sector to design some of these instruments. Final point would be important also that you have to keep in mind is innovation. The agriculture sector has not been innovating a lot at least at the sub-Saharan continent. And we need to do much more, and we need the private sector. You need the entrepreneurial spirit that brings bring some new idea about harvesting, new idea about irrigation, new idea about transformation, and how you stack, tackle this, how you link this market together. And I think this is the area where we with the World Bank would like to work much more. Information and communication technology, uh, growth of food market, how are you gonna develop those markets? The continent used to be, tw tw 20 years ago, a net exporter of food. Is an importer of food now. We have to reverse this tendency. And in my opinion, we can do it if we look back at those markets and we look at them. We need to think about much more what I call the evolution and the revolution of the green revolution of the continent. We have not been that yet. And that's where it's very important to think about it. 
what kind of land tenure we would like to develop, property rights, and these are all issues that are impeding the development of the private sector to step in in the country. These are a few ideas I'll be more than happy to pick up and more, more, more as we go on in the discussion. But it's very important that we think together because I see that in the next 30 years, the agriculture sectors in Africa will be really transforming the base of the economy as we have seen it in many other countries. And therefore investment, this is good investment for, a, for, for, for what you will see in the future. Thank you. Doing business in Africa, you can't afford to be without Africa Investor.